Hi, I'm Chris Bryce from superservice.com. I'd like to talk to you about how to speed up Windows XP. There's a couple of different ways to do this. A couple of them are kind of the mainstream ways of speeding up Windows XP. But the other is kind of a hidden fact that a lot of people don't know. We'll go over that one first. A lot of people are surprised by the fact that fonts actually cause a lot of slowdowns and a lot of bogging down of Windows XP. Fonts are loaded up when you start the computer, and they can cause a lot of problems and lagging on your system. So the key thing to do here is to go into your fonts directory and either eliminate fonts that you don't need or eliminate fonts that are duplicates. Now, some of the fonts that you might think are not duplicates actually are, or sometimes even triplicates. I'll give you an example. If we take a font like Arial, if we take the Arial font, there will be a font for Arial, There'll be a font for Arial Bold and another font for Arial Italics. Some of your fonts may even have a separate font for the underlined version of the font. Well, since most of the software programs that you're going to use to edit things that would require fonts, like Microsoft Office, Word, for example, or Paint programs, since those programs already have the feature for adding bold, italics, and underline to the fonts, you can eliminate the extra fonts that are in the fonts directory that you don't really need. So if you go in and remove those fonts, you'll be removing 50 to 75 percent of the fonts that are in there, and your system will definitely run faster. Now for the separate things. A couple of other ways to speed up Windows XP are to add RAM or to replace your video card with an upgraded model. With the RAM aspect of things, you can take your RAM and double it fairly inexpensively, usually for under $100. If you have one gigabyte of RAM, double it to two gigs. If you have five 12 megs RAM, go ahead and bump it up to one gigabyte of RAM. This will significantly increase the performance of your computer and make Windows XP a lot faster. On the video card side of things, if you get a replacement video card, you can take your video card from, say, 128 megabytes to 256 megabytes, and this will dramatically increase the speed of your computer. They actually used to call video cards video accelerator cards. The reason for this was because they do just that. They accelerate your computer. When you really think about it, Everything that's going on in your computer, all of the processing and everything, at one point gets displayed on your monitor. So all the processing that you do ends up going through the video card and then being placed on the screen. This is where the video accelerator card comes handy. So if you do those simple things, you'll be able to make it a very much faster system for Windows XP.